Hi, Pep. You had a six to eight, six nights, was it in Abu Dhabi? How much of a how much of a benefit was that to be able to go and to go and do that? Yeah, really good. Yeah, you see my turn. <laughs> good. And um, Kevin obviously had a, a big influence in his sort of half an hour at Newcastle. Do you feel like he's sort of ready to ready to start? Yeah. That's he's ready. He was ready in Newcastle as well. Yeah. But uh, we always have the process. It's like Sam Erling when he come back. I don't think it's for ninety minutes, but. Uh, of course, it's really, really soon to play, you know, to play from the beginning. But uh, the most important is he trained really, really well in, in, in Abu Dhabi and and every training session here as well. And this is the most important thing, accumulate training session, recovery, current sessions, and he's like, he's behaving well. He has to continue to work in on the pitch and off the pitch and what he has to do to prevent more. But uh, yeah, this is it's good. Other than getting a tan, Pep, what did you get up to in... Abu Dhabi as a squad, as a no, we've been together. We were, you know, <laughs> make a dinners together. We make a good, really training sessions in a good uh, environment. We know quite well the, the country of our owners. Like always, take care of us really well, and we were together and we make a some ceremony and yeah, that's all. So it was a short time because we played tomorrow. Otherwise, we would stay one or two more days. But yeah, it was fine to change a little bit. Always was positive for us. The people is fresh and yeah, come back home. In your experience, because obviously you've been there before for similar breaks, what kind of impact does that have on the squad? You know, you've been able to spend that time together and the impact sessions. is good, but it will be good if we win and the people will say it was not good because we just in case we don't win. So the impact is good, whatever happens from now on, tomorrow game or in the future. In that period, like it was the here it's cold, we don't have games, you don't have the opportunity. Most of the teams, I hear other teams when I've been in Dubai and the other ones, it's typical, no, I think to do it in the past, you know, the people take a break when the calendar allowed us to do it and it's what we have done. Hi Pep, you spoke a few times last season about how well the medical team here did with Erling to, to keep him fit and available every week given the kind of niggling injuries he had at Dortmund. Now he's had this problem that's been hard to shake, do you have to change the way you manage him, do you think, going forward? Is there a chance now that it could return? You have to look at kind of building more rest into him, do you think, or, or changing it's, that it's, approach? It's, it's a bone. It was at the end, it was, we thought it was a little bit less, but at the end, it was a little bit of fracture of the bone. And the bone is not a muscular issue that you can do a little bit, you know, come back. No, when you have this kind of injuries, there is a question of time. The people say between six, eight weeks. It's between six, eight weeks. It's not about as much you work, as much you, you know, you go to Abu Dhabi or don't go to Abu Dhabi, it will be short. The bone needs his time to close, you know, to make his procedure. And and now is, uh, you know, is at the end. I think will be eight, eight weeks now, almost two months and next next weekend. This weekend or, or next next week. So it's the process, he feels good. Now he needs time to take the rhythm and and start to give him minutes when we'll be fit. Has that pain that he was feeling in the bone gone now? Then is he, is he sort of clear of that pain? In Abu pain? Dhabi and here, the last week, 10 days, doesn't feel anything. So that is a good way. When we come back after two or three sessions, he felt a little bit disturbing. And that's why we were a little bit cautious, you know, after we wait a lot, lot of time when in December could not play, you know, for a long time, you know, to try to avoid it. And now he feels good, and and now we give him three or more four days, and hopefully in Berlin can play some minutes, first minutes. We'll see. How important has Cheeky been to the success of City, and for him to stay long term as well? Would that be important for the club? A lot. If you take a look about uh, all the clubs that have uh, a big success, they have the same hierarchy of the same sport director managers for a long time. When that's happened, you have, in the big clubs, you have success. They have to change the sport directors, change uh, managers. It's more difficult because build something, take take his time. In the big clubs, you don't have, you have, you know, time. You know, if they believe in the hierarchy, believe in sport director, the job, and sport director with the manager, and the manager with the players that they have at the disposal, then you lose a game. Yeah, it's part of the, but you know exactly what you have to do at the end. And Chiqui had been massive, massive important in this club. It had been before I arrived, so, and 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 was a stable the club. So, yeah, it's it's really have been really really important in these years. It's part of the 
<coughs> the enormous success that we had in terms of results and, and many things, and the Chiki has been so important. Is it, he's been here for so long, is it taken, taken for granted maybe that he, he will just be here, here forever? Forever? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it's a question for him. I know, always I ask him, come on, help me to take my responsibility with the media. Sometimes the peer go there and talk a little bit, but uh, he's so shy. He, he doesn't want behind the scenes and all the shots and the weapons is direct to me. So he doesn't want, he doesn't want once, but it's where it is. The same thing was in Barcelona, so he liked that position. And uh, you know, I respect him a lot. A part of he's a closest friend. We worked, we played together in Barcelona, so we met each other since I don't know, 25, 30 years. So, so I am more. Mm, he's more calm, and I'm more energetic. So this balance helps us to be to work perfectly. Uh, hi, Pep. Um, you spoke earlier about your record away at Tottenham. Have you ever had a situation in your career where you've had no. a ground like that that you should? But it happened in White Hart Lane, not this stadium. I have my opinion. They are an exceptional team since Mauricio Pochettino was his manager and all the managers got always have an exceptional players. Always I think, why, why didn't, you know, they are not able to be at the last stages. Well, it was in the final Champions League a few, few years ago, but I've been in Champions League qualification many years, so nice stadium, historical club, so it's a fantastic club, you know. And the players are always had the feeling are really, really good. So, but when I see analyze the performance, you see the what we create, we'll concede always with uh, some mistakes or transitions. <coughs> it's the same, quite similar what happened in our home game here. So we play really good, but we are not able to win. So it happened many times. Hopefully we can break it. We know that that before always it was in a home away games in Premier League never play in a, in a in a Carabao Cup or in a Champions League we play yeah two games but now it's a FA Cup one game so we have to play good to score goals otherwise we will not we will not continue in this competition. And um, in the time since Kevin last started again, I mean, if you if you'd known you're going to be without him for that long, is have you done better than you might have expected for such a, a, a long absence or Who, as uh, well? the team? Since he started, yeah. The team. Mm. Without Kevin. Without Kevin, yeah. But we are stronger with Kevin. We are stronger with uh, Erling. But we can do cry and wait five months and we have to move forward. And we have done. So, so I'm, I'm a big big fan of don't find my chicks, you know, excuses in terms. We don't have that situation. Okay, what it is. I would prefer, honestly. But take the benefit, and maybe it's cleaner for his mind after playing, pff, I don't know how many years, years and years, you know, a lot of games. So he's fresh and and now be positive and he's back and Erling is back soon, John as well. And and now we start the second part of the season that we know, start to play competition. So we don't lose games and in Premier League, maybe we don't have time to recover. We're playing lose games in Champions League, in knockout stage soon, around the corner, and FA Cup, we are out of the competition, so we know the reality. And we travel tomorrow to London to, yeah, to do a good game and try to go through. Um, hi, Pep. It, it, just on Calvin, is it possible that he goes to, to West Ham, plays a lot of games, plays really well, and then comes back here and is more ready to play a bigger yeah. role for you? Yeah, why not? Yeah. It's, it's not a case that he just happens to be a very good player who perhaps doesn't fit with you or with the we have to play to make me realize how wrong I was. So, for the guys who behave well, I, I don't care. But in this type of persons, and how he help us in every training session, and the minutes he played, and always how he's in love with that, always I feel <clears throat> what, what I could do more. So, hopefully, he can find the environment to, to play regularly, and of course, why not? Hi, Pep. I'm just back on Omar Barada. How much concern is there uh, amongst yourself? Cheeky, Ferran, um, Caldoun, that the knowledge that he's got of this club and the expertise he's built up here, he's taking that to your local rivals, how much that will significantly weaken you and strengthen them. There must be a concern behind the scenes. But obviously the old knowledge goes to United. His knowledge. Yeah. You know? That's that's a reality. So when you buy when you bought a player for another club, you bought the knowledge that 
this player had in the past with the other managers and other teammates. That is normal. So, but in this club, so this kind of situations happen. And what the club is going to do is move forward. And they will find a way to, you know, to, to, to replace him and, and we continue because the new guy is coming, maybe from here, for the guys that are here, I don't know, Ferran will decide, Haldun will decide. The guys is, will be well prepared and we will adapt, they will, the people will adjust the new knowledge for the, this person and move forward. But it's normal, always. So we learn, the club learn a lot from Omar, but Omar learn a lot for the club in this combination, now go to United. That's what I was so, going to say, though, because he's, he, he's taking a lot of your, if you like, secrets, trade secrets. You know, yeah, but Kevin works. De Bruyne is still in Man City. Sorry? De Bruyne will play here. Erling Haller will play here. So at the end, it's not simple like that. You know that? Otherwise, with the power United, we have done before. So maybe United thinks with this person, everything is going to change. Congratulations. So I don't know it's going to happen this. I don't know. So ah, he's a lovely person, incredible character, incredible professional. Pff, I wish him, yesterday I saw him, we hug each other, I wish, wish him all the best. Uh, deeply, I wish him all the best, so, because he's a, a fantastic person, what, what can I say? But I don't know, he's doing this, everything is going to sort it and, and works. If it is happen, oh my God, they have to make an stand for a member rather in the future, if it is happen. You mentioned Haaland and De Bruyne will still be playing here, but can you see a time when United and City will deal directly in transfers? Because you've sold to Arsenal, haven't you, with Jesus and Zinchenko. Can you see a time where yeah, you would... Why not? If one person isn't happy here, want to go to United in the players, and they have a, a deal for the right price, and three, four parts are agree, why not? What is the problem? So, If Omar isn't happy here, want to go there, they have to go. So what can, what can we do? So there's nothing wrong with that. So in the clubs... And the transfers always has happened this kind of situation. We want a player from United. United is is uh, agreed to sell it, and the player want to come, and they arrive to agree for the transfer. Why should not do it? So what is the problem? So because the winning or losing don't depend just for these specific things, for many things to win and consistent for many things happen. So this is what I believe. <coughs> Hi Pep, it's it's on, on Calvin again. It may be a difficult one to answer because you said you feel sorry for not being able to give him the minutes. But what, why has he not been able to make the impact here? He's obviously a quality player, I'm sure. For my decisions. You, you agree that too. For my decisions. I need a typical player for that. And Is it a style thing? Yeah. Is it? yeah. We need in that position, we need another thing that uh, sometimes uh, myself, you know, struggle a little bit to see him, that's all. But the qualities is there, are there. Otherwise, couldn't have been national team and uh, the incredible what they have done in Leeds United. So the quality is there. It just I regret more myself than, than Calvin. And other players I would say, but how he behaved, the tried is my responsibility. At the end I have to be here to help the players to develop, to help the players to be better players, to suit with the, what we want to do. And I was not able to do it. Just it's just to explain that because everybody knows he's a quality player, like you've you've said a lot. When you say you need something specific for that role like Rodri if you can explain that, then it might be easier for us to understand why Calvin hasn't worked out here, but he probably will at West Ham, for example. What is not, that thing? He has not to do like Rodri. Rodri is unique, and the other players are unique, has his own qualities. It didn't happen. So that's it. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you.